A new study finds that many adults are self-diagnosing themselves with ADHD, in large part due to the wealth of information and misinformation on social media sites like TikTok. Dr. Malika is on call for us today. Doc, welcome. So is adult ADHD on the rise? Yes, it is. I mean, first of all, let me tell you that more than 11% of kids have been diagnosed with ADHD, but symptoms often persist into adulthood. And it's now estimated that ADHD affects up to, affects up to 10% of adults. But in some, that condition isn't recognized until they're all grown up. Now, fortunately, with increased awareness and reduced stigma and a better understanding of what ADHD looks like in adulthood, more are being diagnosed. If you are concerned, what symptoms are we on the lookout for? So ADHD in adults might appear differently than it does in children, although there is some overlap. Adults may have trouble managing both in and outside of the home. For example, at work, they may struggle to complete lengthy, boring, tedious tasks. They may make careless mistakes or struggle to stay organized or stay focused in meetings. At home, they could have difficulty paying bills on time or performing chores. They may lose things easily, like their keys or their eyeglasses, or forget a point they may also struggle with relationships because they may have difficulty listening, may talk excessively, interrupt others, or act impulsively. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say probably not a great idea to self-diagnose, especially by seeing things you're seeing on TikTok and Facebook, but rather seek professional help, right? Absolutely, absolutely. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, to be diagnosed with ADHD as an adult, you must show five symptoms of inattention or hyperactivity and impulsivity. For children, it's actually six symptoms. Now, your primary care provider or a mental health or a neurocognitive specialist will probably have you fill out behavior rating scales or symptom checklists and take psychological tests that assess memory, planning, decision making, and mood. They may also ask your partner or family members about your behavior. Now, of note, ADHD in girls and women is often missed in childhood because some girls are less likely to exhibit the hyperactivity and impulsive behaviors that many boys do. Can I ask you what treatment does look like, though, if they say you do have it? Yeah, so it usually involves behavioral and cognitive behavioral therapy, executive function coaching, and medications like stimulants, and a combination of the three is usually best. Now, if your ADHD causes you to struggle at work, you actually may qualify for accommodations to help you do your job. Now, let me ask you this. What if you actually don't have ADHD, but you have some of those symptoms? Yeah, that affects a lot of people. You know, it's great that many adults who slip through the cracks as children are now getting diagnosed, but of course there is potential for misdiagnosis diagnosis or overdiagnosis, especially if you're relying on social media like TikTok for confirmation. But if you don't meet the criteria for ADHD, but still struggle with some of the same challenges, there actually are some strategies you can try. So for example, if you can't seem to stay focused, try to eliminate distractions in your environment, take frequent breaks, you can try mindfulness meditation, avoid multitasking, of course, get plenty of sleep, and exercise regularly. All right, Dr. Malika, thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. Thanks, Chris.